Hi, this is Splish and welcome to my second Gundam Evolution video on my channel. Some weeks has passed now since the launch of the game and also since I made my first video where I shared my impressions of Gundam Evolution. The title of this video is Gundam Evolution is like Overwatch but fun. I guess you better take that with a grain of salt since I don't dislike Overwatch or anything but at the same time it's partly how I feel about the games when I compare them. So when I ask my younger son that I'm playing together with in this video what he thinks about the Overwatch comparison, he simply said, which made me laugh a bit, it's like Overwatch but fun, hence the title. I used to play Overwatch back in the days but very casual and to be honest, it was never a game that I spent that much time playing. So when Gundam Evolution showed up recently, which is by the way free to play on Steam, I did hesitate a bit since I knew nothing about the Gundam Evolution anime manga universe at all. But that doesn't really matter that much, since my take on the game is if it's good gameplay and if it's fun to play foremost, then I'll be there. And as I say already in my Gundam Evolution first impression video, it is, sure, in my book. So I've continued to play Gundam Evolution alongside with other games that I like to play and also cover on my channel. Oh, that come on, okay. I have sucked down there on the top of the bottom checkpoint. Now I'm doing that. I'm better than that. I have tried to learn and become better using three to four different units in the game. So if you are new to the game, it might be a good strategy to start by doing just that. Maybe get to know two to three units and their abilities before you start to play them all. At least it's felt like a good strategy for me and especially if you're like me, not playing Gundam Evolution as your only main game. Gundam Evolution is a team based game and you really need to play well together with your units if you're gonna win. I have noticed here that the teams, at least in the casual game modes, can sometimes become very uneven when it comes to skill and therefore balance between teams. Maybe it would be good, which I believe was more common in some older shooters that I used to play, that you have a matchmaking system that is based on rank, although not as strict as it is in rank matches where you have bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, master and new type. Because even in casual it can be tough if you're completely new and you're getting matched with people that already have tons of hours in the game. At least something like this would be a better option than pure skill based matchmaking that I don't believe many of you are interested to having on them evolution. I know that I don't want that. Besides this, the game offers a pretty nice progression system and possibility to unlock some more units, camos, etc. Some games have a very tough or long and sometimes tedious grind, but I don't feel that's the case when it comes to Gundam Evolution, at least not yet. I story on first, not a lot of other one on. Sniper killer there, huh? Bakom, tip bakom. I don't know, kill him, please. Hey, shoot me, shoot me. Ah, okay. When it comes to units, I started out as Pale Rider. I believe he's pretty basic and can therefore be one of the better options when playing the game for the first time, depending on previous experiences when it comes to similar games. Each unit have rating when it comes to difficulty level, so you can look into that as well when you're starting out your Gundam Evolution journey. I'm at the moment mostly playing as Dom Trooper, GM2 Sniper, Gundam and Sazabi, and as mentioned earlier Pale Rider who was my first unit in the game. These are a mix of both close range and long range units, which might be a good idea depending on what map you're playing, what game mode you're playing, if you're attacking or defending, or simply the situation in the current game you're playing. And that's where it becomes quite fun I believe, since a change of unit in the right time in the game can sometimes be, yeah, a game changer. I would love to hear from you as well when it comes to your favorite unit or units in the game. Okay. Oh. Overwatch 2 has recently been released. 
I haven't been able to try it out yet, but I do know that some guys might be wondering how much these games will clash when it comes to players and player base. But I do believe that they can definitely both do well alongside each other since some guys like to play them both. So maybe both titles will gain from being released about the same time. Because, to be fair, they do differ from each other, even though they're in the same field of games or genre. It's almost like when people used to compare Battlefield and Call of Duty, which I really never understood. Well, not fully at least, since they are so different from each other. Even though the last few years, these two major franchises has gotten closer to each other when it comes to design, game modes and map sizes, Gundam Evolution feels like a fresh breeze for me, since I mostly play military shooters. I also believe that it's by far one of the best free-to-play shooters that have been released in 2022. And I therefore hope that even more players find their way into Gundam Evolution, because I still realize that there's a bunch of potential players that still doesn't know that this game exists. Oh, I have a sniper. Barbados, Corinthos. I mentioned that I like the objective team-based game modes and I haven't really found many flaws in the game. I know that some people have been talking about unbalanced or overpowered units. I believe that most units can be countered if you learn which unit that can actually do exactly that. However, I've noticed that the unit called Sako 2, which has the melee loadout, has more HP than the other melee units. That might be something to look into, since I've felt once in a while that he feels a bit too strong, meaning having a bit too much health. Let me know your thoughts here as well in the comments. It's gonna be interesting to see what Bandai Namco has in mind when it comes to further development of the game. I'm thinking about new maps or and new game modes, maybe some new units as well down the line. I have read a bit about the development of the game, meaning choices and decisions being made and it feels as if they've done some really good choices on the road to complete the game. This is something that has been proven to be harder than it might sound when I look into other titles being released during the last year. So. With that said, is Gundam Evolution more fun than Overwatch or Overwatch 2? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments. And if you're new to my channel and you like to watch FPS videos, then make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell with all notifications so you don't miss out when I upload another video on my channel. With that said folks, thanks for watching and talk to you later. Bye. Oh, man. Oh, han ska inte ha dödat oss båda. Han hade en pixelhälsa kvar. Åh, oh, herregud. Det där fattar jag inte ens.